Yeah, Steve was a genius and a visionary. Apple CEO Tim Cook describing what it's been like to follow a legendary icon. Speaking in a slow, deliberate tone, he said Jobs' death represented the saddest days of his life. Steve was an original, and I don't think there's another one of those being made. I am who I am, and that's, that, I'm focused on that. By all appearances, the transition has been a smooth one. Apple profits have hit record levels, and criticism surrounding abuse of workers at its Chinese plants is starting to wane a bit amid a series of changes. But the episode prompted questions about why Apple products are not made in the U.S. Instead, they're manufactured overseas, mainly in China. But manufacturing itself, we looked at it and said, you know, we can, somebody else can do this as good as we can. And is that still true? I think you it's just still finished true. finished saying things I think do change, right? I think it's still true. Will there be an Apple product ever made again in the United States? I want there to be. So will it ever say on the back of an Apple product designed in California, assembled in the United States? It may. It may. And, and even though it doesn't say that today, you could put down there, uh, several parts are from the United States. <laughs> Those parts include the glass on iPhone screens, which are manufactured at a plant in Kentucky. As for future Apple products, Cook gave few hints and said the company is doubling down on secrecy, which is saying something for a company notoriously secretive. Might Apple someday release its own television? Cook's only reply, TV is an intense interest for the company. He outlined Apple's philosophy when it comes to new products. We're not a hobby kind of company, as you know. We, our tendency is to do very few things, put all of our wood behind a few arrows.